Hi, my name is Emily and welcome to Sweet Cake Pants. In today's video, I wanted to show you how to make this super fun crochet granny stitch. Now this is um, a super easy, quick pattern. This is just the granny stitch, basically on repeat. You just, um, there's it's a simple two row repeat and it is extremely addicting and I honestly, once I get started, I just can't stop crocheting it. And then I wanted to also show you in this video how to make the edges super straight on your granny stitch. So as you can see, this one is super, super straight compared to this one, which is not super straight at all. Um, there, hopefully you guys can see that. But um, I wanted to show you how to make the super straight edge so that you can easily add edging or whatever you want to, but just make it look really nice and beautiful. And so let's get started making this granny stitch together. today is Premier Basics Worsted in the color Light Mauve. Um, this is just a worsted weight yarn that I'm using, but if you're using a different weight yarn for, to make this granny stitch, then you'll just need to use the, um, the hook size that correlates with that yarn weight. So this is the yarn that I'm using today, and then you're going to need a darn needle to sew in your um, project once you're done with it, and then some scissors. Now to begin, what you're going to do is you're going to grab your working yarn and you're going to make a slip knot. Now to make a slip knot, you're just going to put the yarn at the base of your hand and then you're going to wrap it around your finger twice. You're going to grab the back loop and bring it up and over. Then you're going to grab the new back loop and bring it up and over and off your finger. Then you're going to tighten it using the, so this is the short strand. You're going to tighten it using the long strand that's from your yarn. And now you're going to chain a multiple of four, and then at the end, we'll add five to that. So chain however many you want, um, as long as it's multiple of four. So four, eight, um, 12, um, just anything like that. I'm going to chain, um, let's see, I'm going to chain 16 to begin. So I'm just going to go two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. And I might actually do a little more. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna go to twenty-four. Seventeen, eighteen, and eighteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, and twenty-four. Okay, so now that we have a chain of twenty-four, which is a multiple of four, now you're just gonna chain five at the end of that. So you're gonna chain one, two, three, four, and five. And now you're going to begin by making a double crochet in the third chain from hook. So I wanted to put this little um, caveat in there in the video that I personally don't count my chains as double crochets. Now I know that's different from some designers and so I just wanted to mention that so that you're aware of that and you know that. So I don't count it as a chain. Now, if you were to count it as a chain, you would normally use three chains, but this is just how I do it. So I'm going to um, yarn over and insert into the third chain from hook. The loop on your hook does not count as a chain. You're going to skip the first chain and the second chain and then insert into the third chain from hook. And you're going to make a double crochet and now you're going to skip two chains and then insert into the third chain. Um, but first you're going to chain one and then you're going to insert into the third chain. So the right there, that hole where we went into, that does not count. So you're going to skip that one because you just worked into it. So one, two, and then into the third chain, you're going to make three double crochets. So that is kind of the grainy, cluster thing. So that is what it should look like. So now you have uh, three double crochets there. Now you're going to chain one and you're going to skip three chains and insert into the fourth chain. So skip one, two, and three chains. Then you're going to insert into the fourth chain and you're going to do three double crochets into that 
fourth chain. So this is what it should look like now. Um, you can see it's kind of starting to look like the granny stitch. And so now you're just going to keep doing that across. So you're going to chain one, skip three chains and insert your hook into the fourth chain. And then you're going to, um, at the end of the row, you should have three chains left and I'll meet you back there. All right, so we just finished row number one. And as you can see, I have three chains left. So one, two, and there's this third one right there. You can't see it very well, but it's there. And so I'm just going to chain one like we always do. So after every single um, like granny cluster or just double crochet, you chain one. So it's kind of the um, standard for granny squares. So you're going to chain one, you're going to skip two chains, and then you're going to insert your hook into the third chain. And I managed to make my first chain rather small, so it might be a little challenge for me to get into it. So now I'm going to yarn over and pull through, pull through two, and pull through two. So you made a double crochet into the last um, chain. So now we have, as you can see, a double crochet, chain one, and then your clusters. And this is how it should look at the end of row number one. And so now for row number two, you're going to chain two and turn your work. And you're going to begin by making three double crochets into this chain first uh, space right there where my finger is. So you're going to make three double crochets right into there. One, two, and three. And now you're going to chain one skip this whole cluster thing and you're going to work into the next space right here. So right my, where my uh, finger is. So you're going to do three double crochets into that space. Whoops. So you're going to do three double crochets into there. And that's basically exactly what you're going to do for this whole row. So you're going to chain one once again. You're going to skip this cluster and you're going to go into the next chain space and you're going to do three double crochets. So basically three double crochets and then chain one and that is your repeat. So now I oop, chain one and then double crochet three into next. Now I'm going to meet you back once I get to this side and I'll show you a little tip to keep your edges straight as you are going up your granny square. Okie dokie, so as you can see, this is the last uh, chain space. So there's our double crochet and then our chain space right there. So now what you're gonna do is you did, you did the chain one after your three double crochets into the last one. Now you're going to double crochet two into that chain space. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to double crochet one into that double, into that last or first double crochet of row one. So you're just gonna double crochet one into there just to make a nice neat edge. So now look how nice and neat your edges are. And I just like that because it just, whenever you're doing anything, you just like it to look nice. So that is what I, um, my little tip is. And then on this side, if you remember, we kind of had already done that because of the chain, it just naturally makes that. So that is what it should look like for row number two. Now for row number three, you're basically just going to repeat what you did for row number one. So you're going to chain two and turn your work, and you're going to make a double crochet into the very first, um, the very first stitch. So right there. And remember, um, the way I like to write my patterns, I don't have the the chain does not count as a stitch. So you're going to insert into the first stitch and make a double crochet. You're going to chain one. Um, I just feel like, personally, I don't like having my chains count as a stitch because I feel like it makes it um, just look more, there be more gaps, and I just don't like that. So I like to make it look as neat as possible, and so that's why I like to not um, have my chains count as stitch for turning chains. So we just did a double crochet. Now I'm going to, now we just chained one, and now I'm going to double crochet. Now I'm just going to do a normal cluster into here. So I'm going to do three double crochets into this spot and then of course a chain one at the end. And you're just going to do this across. So you're going to chain one and then three double crochets across and then I'll meet you back and show you what I do on this side but it's basically the same as this side. So I'll meet you back at the end of row three.
All right, so as you can see, we did our last cluster and now I'm gonna chain one. And you can see here is our last um, a cluster of the previous row. So now what you're gonna do is you're just going to double crochet into the very last double crochet possible. So there's one, two, and three. You're gonna double crochet into the third from hook, third double crochet from hook. And you're just gonna make a double crochet. And so now this is what it looks like. Now for row number four, you're just going to repeat row number two. So we did for row number two just, um, and exactly this. And then for row number five, you're going to repeat what we just did for row number three. So you're just gonna repeat um, rows number two and three throughout your whole, um, throughout your whole blanket or whatever you're making with this. So that is the super simple um, granny stitch. Now, I wanted to give you guys just a little bonus tip, and that is if you're wanting to decrease or increase your um, size, so like, let's say you wanna make something kind of roundish, I'm gonna show you how to do increase and decrease using the granny stitch. So, to do that, you're just going to begin, like you normally would, so chain two, turn your work, and then you're going to um, just work across like you normally would. So I'm going to do my three double crochets like I normally would. And then chain one, three more double crochets. And then chain one, three more double crochets. And now let's say I'm about in the middle of my project and now on this one I want to do an increase. And you could do this at the edges too, I'm just not for this example, but you could sure do that at the edges too. So what you're gonna do is you're going to do your three like you normally would, three um, double crochets, and then you're gonna chain one, but instead of normally skipping to the next chain space, you're gonna work three more double crochets into that exact same spot. So you're going to work three more double crochets into that exact same spot on your granny stitch and there is your little increase. And so then when you are working back, you just would work into it like, you, um, like any other chain space. So you would work into that middle and then you'd have one more granny stitch. I hope that makes sense. So I'm gonna meet you back, I'll meet you back um, on the next row and I'll just show you how to work into that. So meet you back. Okay, so as you can see, we just, um, we finished that row, now we started the next row and I just came across the increase. And so what you're gonna do, so you can see there's six stitches where there normally be three stitches. And you're just gonna do exactly what you did for all the other stitches. So I did my three double crochets, my chain one, and now I'm gonna insert into the middle of that increase where we did that chain one, that chain one. And now I'm going to just do three double crochets right into the middle of it. So there you go. So that is how you do an increase in your uh, project. So if you wanted to, for some reason, do an increase in your granny stitch, that's exactly how you would do it. Okay, now I also wanted to show you, um, as an extra bonus tip, I wanted to show you how to decrease in um, with the granny stitch. So to do that, all you do, I'm just gonna pretend it's right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna chain one like we normally would. We're gonna do two double crochets into this chain space, so right there. And then you're going to not chain one, you're not gonna chain one, and you're going to do one double crochet into the next chain space. So basically you just combine the two. And you could do that once again at the edges if you wanted to, or you can do that in the middle of your project. So now I'm going to chain one like I normally would, and you're just going to, when you come back, you're not gonna to wanna to work in the middle, you're just gonna work on the edges. So it's the same three cluster. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'll meet you back once I have finished this row and then I'll show you how that looks on the next row. All right, so as you can see, we're on the next row and I'm just gonna work into this one like we normally would because this is a normal stitch or space whatever you wanna call it. Okay, and now you, here you can see is the two stitches and then the one double crochet. There you can see it, right there. And so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna chain one and you're gonna skip that space even though you didn't chain one. So you're just going to basically work it like it would be a normal cluster. And then you're going to 
um, do three double crochets into the following and into the next chain space. So basically, whenever you do a decrease or increase, you just want to make sure you're always working um, on the next row, you're always working into the chain spaces. So if you do an increase, you do a chain space between and then you work into that. And then if you do a decrease, you do not do a chain space and you basically skip. Um, so that is what it should look like. And you can see there was our decrease right there. And it's a pretty seamless decrease that you really wouldn't see unless you're looking really hard. So hope you enjoyed this and yeah. Okay, so as you can see, we have finished up um, my little swatch. And I just wanted to come back and show you that how straight the edges are. And I really believe that is because um, of doing the double crochets at the end and doing only chain two instead of chaining three. And I just love how flat and straight they are. Um, so this is what it looks like. Um, I'm absolutely in love with this stitch. And so I would love to hear in the comments down below what you're using this for. Thank you so much for making this super fun crochet granny square along with me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I would love to hear from you, so please comment down below and tell me what um, yarn you're using and what project you're making this granny stitch for. I just love hearing from you. It always makes my day. And so thank you so much for watching this video again, and I'll see you in the next one.